we all together we are living in one single planet, but we don't really know what's happening in the world. We have to be more conscious and realize that we can have an impact. We can make a difference on an individual level. Earth is ours, it's your, it's mine. So we have to take care of it. Uh, we have a duty in life. Hello, we're here at the beautiful Yachana Eco Lodge, based on the banks of the Napo River in the middle of the Ecuadorian Amazon. It's a gorgeous place, a paradise on Earth. Uh, the Yachana Eco Lodge is part of the Yachana Foundation, and uh, the fascinating aspect of the foundation is their focus on community development and education. I started the Yachana Foundation in 1991. The first contract was working here in 1992. Uh, so I've been in this community now for 16 years, and in that period of time I got to know the people, got to know the needs of the people, and so I decided I wanted to stay here. Uh, back in the beginning, uh, the, one of the things that the foundation did was to build uh, some schools in this, in this part of the rainforest in the remote communities here. The foundation was able to build an elementary school and a middle school, and now they even have a high school. It goes back to the foundation's uh, philosophy of education and empowerment of the people, and the base of that has to be education. My name is Carlos Prado. I'm working here at the uh, Colegio Tecnico Yachana. I'm an ecotourism teacher here in uh, Amazonia, in Ecuador. Our students, once they graduate, they will graduate in uh, four different subjects, such as um, ecotourism, animal husbandry, uh, agriculture, and the microenterprise development. So then these students are going back to the community and they can uh, do these projects and uh, help the community to develop these sustainable pro programs in the community. My name is Delphine Walinga. I come from the south of this area. I've been working as a guide for uh, almost 12 years here uh, in Yachana Lodge. When I was about 14 years old, I met Douglas, which is the founder of this foundation. And that's how I got the opportunity to uh, educate. So I was able to uh, go to Quito, or to the high school, which was uh, big change in my life. The way how Yachana Foundation thinks, with this institution thinks, is that the key is the education. Through the education, we can make a difference. My name is Jessica. I'm 19 years old. With all subjects, I like ecotourism and conservation because uh, we are learning why it's important to uh, protect the, uh, the environment. After I finish high school, I would like to uh, continue with education in ecotourism and learn English, and then go back to my community and help the community. During their 28 days here, they're learning about agricultural practices, they're learning about health, and when they go home, they're taking a little something back to their family. All of the students have taken water filters back to their families so they have safer drinking water. They've taken seeds and seedlings and all sorts of different things back to their families, which are helping the income and the health of the family. We have the 3,000-acre uh, reserve. That is a very important part of our research that we do here. It's very important that we know what we have, what resources we have, and the impact that we're having on the local community and the environment. So we have Global Vision International, for example, working on our 3,000-acre reserve. My name is Jonathan Escalar, and I'm the field manager for Global Vision International here at the Yachana Reserve. GVI is a volunteer organization based out of the UK. Uh, the Yachana Reserve is interesting uh, partly due to its location, because it's located just at the foot of the Eastern Andes and just going into the lowland Amazon rainforest both very high biodiverse areas. Well, the goal of the research here is to hopefully find out what we've got, because you can't protect something without knowing if it's there or not. So by finding these rare species, such as the glass frog we found, which is new to science, we're hopefully going to be able to elevate the status of the reserve to uh, above a private reserve, which it is now, and get it on the rung up towards, who knows, a biosphere reserve, national park. But you need to know what you've got to be able to do that. So we're here in Mondaña in front of a clinic that was built by the Yachana Foundation and then it was given away to the Ministry of Health and this amazing clinic offers free health care for about 8,000 people in the, in the area. 
It's another wonderful, wonderful example of sustainability for the entire community. My name is Victor Hugo Viteri. I'm a medical doctor. Uh, now we are medical doctors working here. We have plenty of, uh, of medication. That way, uh, people are give, uh, having a chance to survive. We've seen uh, around the 30, 40 patients per day. Uh, most of them are children. Uh, at this moment, uh, things uh, are changing for good. They are uh, more healthy. You know, with the work that we're doing through education and conservation um, and microenterprise development, for example, community-based tourism, we're being asked to replicate this model that we've created here in other parts of Ecuador and also other parts of Latin America. People are paying attention to what we're doing and I think that we have a, a really uh, an enormous responsibility but also an opportunity to raise awareness. When I'm here, I'm happy. We coexist with the jungle. This is uh, our uh, way of living. So I really want to invite them to come to visit Ecuador and especially the Amazon. We are the smallest country in South America, but we have one of the biggest biodiversity in the world. But that diversity should be protected. One thing that I think is really important to remember is that we're all one, we're all connected, and we're not, um, we're not a separate cause. We're all actually here on one planet as one people. We have to be more conscious and realize that we can have an impact, we can make a difference on an individual level. And that difference has a ripple effect and um, can really benefit um, you know, future generations just by being a little bit more conscious in our daily lives.